What's good, Chaotic Nation? It is your boy Chaos here. We are back with some more Pokemon Sword Surprise Lock. I did notice that the last video had a little bit of errors with the content. Um, so we took a moment, went and checked it out, made sure everything was working all right. Um, it seemed to be fine. It seems to be working okay. So hopefully, fingers crossed, that everything's going all right with this episode. But we're going to continue to make our way through Route 8, get our two encounters, hopefully get to the get to Churchester by the end of the episode, and um, do our wonder trades and stuff there. Uh, as I was saying to the guys in the stream, since we had a few minutes, I think I spent about 10 minutes making sure the content was going to be working and fine. Um, as I said to them, if you guys ever have any questions to ask me as a content creator, as a person in general, like if you want to learn more about me or anything like that, Feel free to leave it in the comment section, in the chat, either place works for me. If you want to tweet it at me, like feel free to do that too. Uh, you can follow my Twitter, exclamation point Twitter, or check the link in the description down below for that. Also, I am planning on destroying this run for the rest of the bit, get through the rest of this game, beat it today hopefully, on stream. Um, not today on video, but in stream hopefully. Uh, and we'll see. Hopefully everything goes well. Um, I honestly, this is one of my least favorite routes in this game just because you have to go up and down things so many times. I will run around and grab that item again. I just wanted to do a loop. Maybe. Yeah, I'm going to grab it. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Oh, look at Chaos with the dodges. Elixir? Nice. Um, I did want to clarify that since you can see that Pop was asking about uh, <laughs> saying I don't have any questions. <laughs> So that's kind of cool. To answer the question, I like seeing people use Quillfish. Oh, so yeah, the overarching question of the entire series is what mod do you want to see on the team? Quillfish is actually kind of cool. I love using Quillfish despite everything. Um, I got a fairy plate, so I wanted to give that to Rapidash. That's what I was doing. Think about it, Chaos. Think. I, yeah. I actually kind of like Quillfish. Um, I played Pokemon... My first, one of my first ever games was Pokemon Coliseum, and in that game you get a, you get a, um, a shadow, you get a shadow, um, Quillfish quite early on in the game, so I've actually used it a couple times, and honestly, Intimidate Quillfish is something I've used in competitive a little bit, um, so I kind of like the Mon, and also I think it looks really cool, like, it looks like one of those, um, underwater, like, like the, the mines, the underwater mine things. So I kind of like that aspect of it. Uh, you know, like the big thing, the big metallic uh, spike balls in uh, Finding Nemo? That's what they look like to me. Also, I, you literally stopped for me and you didn't fight me. You are such a bad trainer, my lady. But yeah, Quillfish is kind of cool. That'd be something definitely to throw in the team. Um, if Intellion never died and we lost Bioplume too. All right, so this is Dragon and Ghost. Um, I do want to switch to, I want to switch to my Rapidash, but I also don't want to switch to my Rapidash, even though it is the only and best way for me to deal with. Um, Cause Dragon's weak to what? Dragon, Fairy, Dragon, Fairy, Ice. I don't have Ice, I don't have Dragon, so I only have Fairy, so I gotta do with Fairy. Cool. Feel this Rapidash, that's gonna be fun. Um, you guys missed the last episode, we did lose uh, our Darmaka, which is a little pog champ, but you know, it happens. You can't expect to get through any kind of Nuzlocke without losing something. I honestly am surprised when we get five badges in and didn't lose anything, so that's kind of cool. But regardless, we'll keep going. Volaby, that is a um, dark type. But I am going to stay in, because we are fairy type, we have a fairy plate, we're going to bop this thing, no problem. Fairy and flying, easy bob with fairy wind. No worries whatsoever. Okay, that, that took it a lot better than I thought it would. But it used iron defense, so that's perfectly fine. Perfectly fine with me. So, uh, as I talked about in the last episode, you guys missed it, I have stuff planned for my content on this channel and Invisible Corporations for the rest of the year, um, but my question to you is what, e for either channel, um, po my YouTube channel is primarily, is all Pokemon, nothing else comes on this, um, my 
my my content I put on IC is anything but Pokemon because I say all the Pokemon content for this. So my question to you guys, regardless of which channel is it on, what kind of content do you see? What game do you want to see uh, played? Um, Luigi's Mansion is about we're about halfway through Luigi's Mansion you know, on uh, Invisible Corporation, so we'll be thinking about a new series soon. Um, and once this series is over, I'm we're pretty close to finishing it here too. So that honestly. It's about time to start thinking about it. Let's be honest here. So for me, I want to get into some things I haven't done before. Um, that did a lot of damage. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I want to try some. I've been playing on Invisible Corporations from my childhood games. Um, over again, so like we picked up Prime. I picked up Ocarina. We did, um, you know. We did uh, Sunshine. So I kind of want to keep picking up some childhood games. Um, I think I'm out of the ones that I really played a lot. The only thing I can think of is grabbing um, Sonic. And so I found someone online, someone on YouTube was doing a series of, um, and it was Sonic Adventure 2, but it was randomized. So I really am interested if I can find that, if I can find the way to play that, I would love to play that game. So maybe that pops on the channel at some point. And honestly, the last time I played Sonic was actually on my YouTube channel. Um, because it's still one of my most viewed videos of all time, which is kind of crazy. A stream would have 20, like, stream would have 2,000, 200 views. Um, yeah, I say 200 views. I, I mean 200 views. I do not mean 2,000. What the? Oh. I honestly did not know that was there. I might have to go back to my original playthrough and find that Brick Break TM, let's say. Um, so that is good. Now I gotta make the choice on Lucario if I wanna keep Aura Sphere or if I wanna switch out for. Um, do I wanna keep Aura Sphere or do I wanna switch out for um, Brick Break? See, it's 80 base power and we're, we're more of a special attacker, honestly. I kinda like the diversity in Aura Sphere. And the one, yeah, I like the Aura Sphere. I like Brick Break in the back, but I like the Aura Sphere um, play. And just so you guys know, I, I have been dodging trainers recently in the last couple episodes, but um, this episode, I'm going to be more focusing on trying to battle everyone just because I want to get this Dreepy caught up level wise. It is about half the level of the rest of the team, so. I was going to say, how do I get past that? Apparently the lady is the only one who's paying attention because the guy is just kind of sitting there on his phone. Ladies and gentlemen, get off your phone. <laughs> it, it just, you know, it, it's hard to interact with people when you're... Look at this guy. This guy is exactly, um, like, my, definitely my generation. Alright. So, um, I want to get Ponyta out of here because I feel like the extra girl is going to do power. Um... But I feel like we can't... I want to Strength Sap it, because I'm, I'm actually kind of worried about it. So I'm going to Strength Sap the Excadrill. I'm going to switch out. I don't have anything that resists that is immune to ground, so I think James Pond is the best bet. Let's do that play. This is a little interesting. Um, so he outplayed me again um, by using that. The Strength Sap's going to miss now. You're going to use Crunch. Which was meant for my, um, my Rapidash. Um, I feel like I, so I gotta play this smart. I feel like Inteligon outspeeds the uh, Sand Rust Excadrill though. Uh, I'm gonna Giga Drain that hit out on and I'm gonna Snipe Shot the, uh, I'm actually not worried as, as worried about the hit out on, so I'm gonna just double into the Excadrill. And so, I expect one of them to one shot through it. If for some reason they don't, we're fine. So, it's a dead extra drill. I just want to get this thing out of the way. Yeah, that was a clean one. It's an extra drill. It doesn't have any defenses, and it's not assault vest. Um, I do like running assault vest extra drill. It's really fun. Um, but the thing about double battles is the way I just did it is not how you want to play it. Um, where you take out two pawn, take out both sides. You want to defeat one, focus on one side, so that way it's a two v one. That is the best way to do it. Um, you're not learning takedown. 
yeah, so you definitely want to take out one side of the battle, but the way that, the reason that worked out in that situation was because I had taken out the extra goal in one shot. So we got a Lucario, that's actually going to be really bad for me, and then a Berserker, which again, it's not really super great. Um, so what I want to do, well, the Berserker I'm not super worried about, I'm going to Strength Sap the Lucario, and I'm going to U-turn into the Berserker slot, and I'm going to try to, I'm going to bring out my Super Race. I feel like that's the best play we got. Just, oh, he faked me out. That's not good. So I can bring out my... Um, honestly, I honestly can bring out my own Lucario here. That might not be a bad strat. But I am kind of weak. So let's bring in Trix. Trix is going to do the work. I know you do have Bone, bone Rush. Metal Claw did a lot. He flinched. Are slower. I feel like Solaris is fine to tank a shot. I'm gonna shut down that Lucario. I'm gonna hope Pyro Ball out we outspeed me one shot this Berserker. Because we're faster than Lucario, I think. So I'm gonna destroy this Berserker real quick. Although I, I did not really pay attention to the speeds. I, I was trying to, but I I, I failed miserably to, to pay attention. So. He's got power up punch. We are slower, but he locked in the wrong mom. And although the attack boost is kind of scary, we just minimized it. So that's great. We just shut that down. So that's good. And we're perfectly healed now. So that's great. That was a really good play. So I think I'm going to just deal with it again. Strength sap just in case. We don't kill it. And I'm going to high jump kick. Because I want to conserve Pyro Balls. Nice. And also, I think that... I don't think... The Pyro Ball had the one shot. That was my jump game. But I just want to conserve Pyro Balls. I don't want to get five. So, I need to conserve them. Strong and cute. And now you're taking selfie. Dude, look at this. This guy is exactly what... You know... My parents' generation always complains about our generation, like my generation, being on their phone and being on like technology all the time. It's kind of annoying. And also, I have not done any of this. I know I'm gonna. I'll. I didn't time this. Um, so this does count as a new route. Uh, we counted it as one in the sleep log. I'm counting it one here. Um, I got to figure out what I want to bring in though against these ice types. Um, my team is just bodied right now um that's a bad play i'm gonna bring in james james pond i feel like that's a good play um, i'm gonna take on the sneasel real quick lock so that'd be fun um and what i want to do let me hit you with a sucker punch He's gonna be neutral. It's gonna be resistant, actually. And then you hitting me with Fury Spipes, because I knew you had that. I don't want to really destroy my chance of catching you. Although, yeah, it's perfect. So now I got you in a good enough range where I think I can just Pokeball you and you're gonna stay in. Although it is a Sneasel, it has a better catch rate. Maybe it's not gonna stay in. But you know, my luck in the last two routes has been, you know, throw a ball, catch it. And it continues here. So yes, good job team. I'm gonna run to the Pokemon Center, heal up. We'll go hit Route 10, get that encounter, and we'll come back. Um, yes, I'm gonna call it Chaos. Actually, Chaos is a name for a Sneasel, it's kinda cool. I don't wanna add to my party. The Sneasel would be a good addition. Like, it would give me that Ice type back as well as another Dark type, which is kinda what I was using my, uh, Darum Maka has anyway. What? That's a Snom. I was like, what is that? I'm like, oh yeah. Forgot Snom existed for half a minute. I don't remember what this guy has um, on his team. Um, I really don't. I'm going to leave with Solaris because I want the money. Give me the money! Also, you can dodge this guy, no problem. And I also kind of find it weird that Sock spawns here. I kind of feel like Sock should be on the last route, honestly. Let's see. He does have an Arcanine. 
Okay, I wasn't sure. But I thought he might. So the guy so what would I change for this route not route? Um Um I definitely would put Sock not on this route. Um I would not put Sock and Throw on this route. I would put I'm trying to think of a good mon to put here. Um I might actually like just you know, maybe make Pinchur on like a 1% here. That would be kind of a cool thing to do. Like, make Pinchurn a 1% on this route, so it, you can find it, but... I think that would be a play. Or maybe even put Grapple Lock here. That's probably the way I would change that out, if I had to. You know? I feel like it would be cool. You know, designing... One thing I've always wanted to do... Um, always is me in, like, the last couple of years... I've been, I'm really, I've always been interested in like doing, making stuff and um, being creative in video games. So like I've wanted to make for like, since I started doing YouTube, I've wanted to make a Pokemon ROM hack. I'm not skilled enough to do it. I know that because I don't know anything about coding. I could learn it really quickly, but I don't know anything about it. And I've wanted to make a Pokemon ROM hack for the longest time. Just so I can have my my region, and I, I've honestly been thinking about it. Um, since I have like my gym series, I kind of want to do one that has like all 18 gyms in it. So maybe like a double region type of deal, and you know have all my all my gym leaders be a part of the region. That's not, like for something. I don't know. I think it'd be kind of cool. Uh, so I guess question today for this episode: um, What kind of what? What kind of, um, if you can make a Pokemon game, what kind of game would it be, what would the game be like? If you made a Pokemon game, if Game Creek came to you, gave you all the properties to, to make the game, what would you make your game like? I'm very interested. So I think I definitely would make a, um, a multi-region game. So you'd have, there's eight gems in each region, you would have 16 total, and there's 18 types, and then, um, you know, probably have a probably make it similar like Johto is like the Johto games are because you always go back to Kanto. Um, but I think what I would do is like to make it special and make it interesting. Instead of like having forcing you to start in one region, you could choose which one you wanted to start in, and um, you could you could choose which one to start in. You could switch between the regions if you wanted to, but um, you have to use like the like, they'll each have their own Pokedexes, and if you can't use something outside of the Pokedex until you complete both regions. I think that would be kind of cool. It's like, just imagine going through Johto and Kanto, and then like, oh, hey, here you are in, uh, you know, they build this, they build this town, they build this little city outside of, uh, you know, the League. You, that's your hometown, and you start, it's like, okay, where do you want to go to? Or maybe you start in, like, um... You know, I don't know, maybe you would start in Vermilion, or maybe you would start in somewhere like, uh, what's Olivine? Olivine's the one. You probably start in Olivine, I would say. Just, you come, from, train her from Olivine, um, and you get to start, the first thing you do is you take the ship, and the ship either drops you off in New Bark Town, or drops you off in, um, Pallet Town, somehow. I, I haven't come across that yet. I mean, you can sort of get in the Pallet Town. So that'd be kind of a cool way to do that, uh, I think. You know, have the opportunity to, to do two regions at the same time. Uh, I'm going to buy 20 Ultra Balls, by the way, because I want to have some balls ready to go. But I've always liked that idea of, like, you know, making your own region and, you know, doing fun stuff with it. I would like to do, um, I definitely would have access for, for a game. If I made a game, the game would have access to a variety of modes, so it would have a built-in randomizer. It would have a built-in Nuzlocke cape. It would have a built-in Nuzlocke system. Um, you know, it'd probably be the basic form of the Nuzlocke. It'd probably be like you can only ca so like at a certain point in the game, it would stop you from using Pokeballs. Like after you did, you ran into something on a route, it would stop you from using Pokeballs on any Pokemon. Like you could still throw them, but you just waste them. It's sort of like you know how Gen One had the where you you could throw the ball and it would miss. That's what would happen. 
That was what would happen in those games. Um, I'm gonna acid this thing. So I don't wanna kill it. So I think that would be cool. Um, it would have access. I would probably put the GTS in it because that's me. I like the GTS a lot. Um, probably put that that system back into it. Um, that, like the PSI system in general would be back into it. Um, I would start off. I would probably do three starters. I probably want to make exclusive. Like, assuming this is a totally new region, I would have a lot of fun with it. Um, I would. I might do. Like I know I did a video, there was a long, if you guys have been around the channel for a long time, uh, I did this video with Tekkit way back when I started my career, because it was with Tekkit, um, about making a gen, making a, uh, a region, and it was based off of um, Cuba and, not Cuba, it was based off of the Dominican Republic and, and, um, and Costa Rica, because they're like an island that's split, and so it's like a weather type it's kind of like Hoenn, but it's not. Because they have, like, these um, two different, like, clans on each island, and they're, like, the evil team. And depending on which, like, version of the game you get, they're, one of them will help you. Um, so, that that would be kind of cool. But I, I probably would do something... I would definitely make my own region it's different from that. I might have... I might do a new video on that. I might need to do a new video on that. An updated my gym region. I need to update like all the videos because like I have new favorite Pokemon now. Um, I have all these new things that I need to get into. So that would be kind of kind of cool. I would include um, you know I probably would make it so it's like this game has to be like 80 bucks because there's so many things I want to throw into it. Um, another thing I want to throw in is like I want to throw back in like Shadow Pokemon. So, like, that could be, like, the Evil Team storyline, part of the Evil Team storyline, you know. Um, you could have, you know, some Evil Team stuff like that. Um, there are two of these? That's kind of cool. That's kind of... Oh, I just restarted it. Okay, cool. Um, I kind of like the, 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 the this one, so I'm going to buy this. Um, yeah, I like the Shadow Pokemon feature and probably throw that back in and probably be actually an aura remake. Like at some like a sort of a pseudo aura remake. Not like entirely aura, but like somewhat in the same way. Understand? Um I have returned um so welcome in my guy. I want pink shoes, dude. Give me the pink shoes. Yes. Yes. Um I kinda like that bag. Yeah, we're fine. What is this? These are just... Oh my gosh. Those are crazy. Those are absolutely crazy. I, no, I can't do that. Um, gloves? Do we have any cool ones? Pattern? I can't really tell. Oh, they're like uh, like hearts, um, flower, and then like a little check thing. Uh, yeah, I want to go back and get some new like get some jackets and stuff. So I'll probably do that at some point. Uh, I'm liking what we're, like, we're doing. Um... But welcome back in Mega Man. We appreciate you coming in. Um, I I kind of just I don't know what else I would throw in this in this game though. Let's see. Um, I would throw in a you know how Black and White had like Gen Five had the um the power not the power mode the um the advanced mode like the master mode. I would throw in like a master mode type deal where you could. Um, play the game on a harder difficulty setting, so maybe it'd be like an increased spike, maybe it'd be competitive sets, maybe it would be like everything you battle has perfect IVs except for the wild Pokemon. I don't know. Um, I need to tweet this out. I don't know how to spell Churchester. How do I spell Churchester? Town map, tell me how to spell Churchester. I can tweet this out. It is C. I, I was. I added the H in it, that's why it looked weird. Uh, I had an CH instead of CI. Um, uh, boop. Oh, shoot. I, I forgot that I had all that still. I had my last tweet still copied. I just want to copy my link. 
That's all I want. All right, cool. So yeah, you, please let me know what your um your dream and stuff. Your not your dream, your region would look like. Like if you made a Pokemon game, what would it look like? I, I'm very interested to hear what some of these are. Like, remember we had this one guy who always would talk, uh, always come in on the My Gym series and give me his gym, and I always love reading that one. So please definitely come in and let me know what you think about that. Um, so what we have what we have determined about mine, I have four three. Three, yeah, because I can't get Route 10 yet. All right, I have three things to wonder trade again. Pay attention to the chat, you guys know how this works by now. Um, and we're gonna get going. Three, two, one, almost typed 11 <laughs> and go. Um, but I definitely want to, I want to have like if you've played Pokemon Insurgents, if you've played Pokemon, uh, I think Pokemon Reborn does this too. Well, if you play Pokemon Insurgents, um, you have a variety of modes. You can do an egg lock, it gives you that capability. It gives you surprise, like wonder trades are in that game. It gives you competitive. You can do solo runs. You can do all this really cool stuff. And so I would like to have all those features into it. I would like to have a variant that's like, it's um, so like one of the features of the game could be like Shadow Pokemon. Um, and so that's a duplicate, so I have to reroll. And that way, like, so the Shadow, po how would the Shadow Pokemon work in that game? Um, I guess I would make it so like. Uh, you can make it so you had a few trainers that you gave a shadow Pokemon that they could catch. Um, so maybe like one or two per route. Maybe like th make the evil team, the evil team to be a huge part of the game. Um, especially like if it's my evil team, which is like uh, Team Lucio. Uh, if you type exclamation point evil, you can check out that series. I believe that still works. Um, otherwise it's on the channel. It's literally, if you go to the channel, you pop in for the first time, it's the channel video, so you can check that out. Um, but like my team focuses on mind control, so maybe like you could find a team, you could find the team of Lucio Grunt, like every route, and they would have one of the Shadow Pokemon, that'd be kind of cool, because it's, it's like Shadow Pokemon are kind of like brainwashed anyway, so that'd be kind of cool to have that. Um, you know, I think I did talk about the, the Legendary, like in that video I talked about the Legendary being uh, brainwashed by us too. So like that would could be the way you you have to catch that and then purify it. Um, easy, you could, the easy way to throw a purification method into that is just have like because um, I talked about if you guys have watched my um, is that out yet? I don't think it's out yet. Uh, if you guys watch my watch, um, I don't know if it's out yet. If you guys go watch my electric type gym video, I have a um, it's out for the video. I don't know if it's out for the stream or not yet. I don't remember. Um, <laughs> but if you go watch my electric type gym video that I, I kind of make things for you to use so at that point you could have fun and um, you know maybe I just give it to you at when you beat me at that gym so let's go in three two one go do the trade if you're trading so that'd be kind of cool that that would be an easy way to throw it in there otherwise it could be just like oh here in the regular game he gives you like i don't know like some kind of like a super potion or a hyper gives you like a hyper potion early on for some random reason that could be a cool way to do that i don't know it'd be kind of cool there's a lot of things i would love to put in that game just some of the best things you can honestly so that'd be kind of cool i also am digging this pikachu shirt i don't know why but i really am digging it I kind of want to put a, uh, a code over it, but I'm not sure if I like how that's going to look. I might honestly run back to, uh, I think it's Hammerlock that has the thing. Ooh, a Gorgeist. I don't think I've ever used one of those. So that would be kind of cool. Pumpkin. I kind of like that Pumpkin. I have to remember that. Um, it's, it's probably a, a, a raid. Mon, I would say though, because I'm pretty sure Gorgeist Gore appears in raids. It's not, so it's eligible. Cool. Um, last one of these that we have to do. And I think I'm gonna run back over to Hammerlock and do the uh, and do the fun stuff with that. Um, get us, you know, let's just fly back there now. Um, get to that bouquet and get us, you know, some. Uh, the coats and see what else i kind of want to change the pants too let's be honest and then i might fly i might honestly go back to the beginning and um grab the uh grab some socks 
I know the socks were early on. I think they were Moto Stove. Alright. That was actually perfect timing for the trade. What are we getting? Iron River. That's a sweet name, dude. Enjoy my official Pokemon. Drifloon! I love Drifloon. I will take that. Every time. It's... That looks Japanese to me. Don't If it's Chinese, I'm sorry. It looks Japanese to me. Because I feel like... I feel like I've seen one of those symbols before. And I have a friend who's from Japan. Um, one, of, one of my really close friends that I got in school um, is from, was from Japan. And he was really cool. Um, pork chops and grilled cheese, like, at the same time? Um, if you're set... If, at the same time, no. Um, if you're... At the same time, no. If they're separated, then it's fine. I like both of those. They're good. Um, but that Drifloon is eligible, so we are good. We don't have the Wonder tr the Surprise Trading. Let's get back to Boutique, though. I want to get some codes. So it kind of covers the entire thing. I don't like the... Like, the open ones are fine. Don't like that one. That does look terrible, but it looks too much like Bede's for me to like it. All right, let's check the pants. These are just going to be stripes. I don't like that. No socks. Bags? I want to look at the bags, too. Okay. Kind of want to throw a hat on, because it's me. But I don't like any of the hats, either. Alright, we're going to go back to... I think it's... It might be the first town I want to go back to. Um, we'll go back to Motostoke and get check that boutique. I know this is not what I planned on doing this episode, but I kind of am enjoying myself too much to not do this, so sorry. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Um, but yeah. I'm really interested. Please, for the love of God, guys, leave the comments on what your game would look like. Because I think we have some really cool inspirations for some games. And who knows? Maybe if you leave a cool enough comment, I might even reach out to you and we might do a video on it. Like, you never know. Chaos Chaos has done stuff like that before. I really haven't, but I'm, I want to. Also, I saw this shirt for the first time on a live stream this morning, and it looks really sick. I don't like Pinturin, but I like that. I like that shirt. All right, um, the hoodies are kind of cool, but none of them are the right color. The varsity jacket works, except it's green and not blue. That's the only issue. Like, it's green and purple and not blue and purple, so I don't want that one. Um, let's check the pants out real quick. I don't like how the there's a flannel on it. I don't like the plaid. Definitely don't like the... Ooh, the pink. How about that? That looks kind of sick. That looks kind of sick. How's, do we have purple? I'm going to use... I'm going to grab the pink plaid trousers. We'll do that. We'll do that. Yeah. I want those. Those look really stupid, and I like it. Um, so I... Uh, I like the shoes, too. I'm going to... We're looking at socks now. I don't want pink socks. Do I have... I don't... Navy kind of works, but you can't really tell. Like, right? You can't tell at all that I have navy socks on. Monotone? Monotone is the color. That's weird. Um, I don't wear tights, so... Let, you know what? Let's grab the navy socks. You can't tell. Well, let's grab the navy socks. Sure. Put them on. Um, backpacks. That's what I want to look. Sports bag. The plaid's kind of cool. Again. Ooh, I can get pink plaid. Creamy navy? Eh. What do I, what, what bag am I, I kind of like the bag. The bag doesn't work with this. So I kind of want to grab the plaid, but I don't, you know. You know, challenger kit, glasses. I don't do the glasses. Let's check the gloves. Mm, monotone. Oh, the monotone is like black. You can't tell the navy is navy, honestly. I can't. You like that. I am going to run back to Wedgehurst and grab it. I'm gonna run back to Wedgehurst. Um, the end of this episode is just me going around changing clothes. <laughs> Let's be honest. You know, you gotta have fun in Pokemon games, man. I love customization. That is definitely something that would be in my game too. Character customization. Ever since they added that, um, like when they added that next and Y, I loved it. And then when Us came out and it wasn't available, I was actually kind of mad about that. Like if I had been doing my series on ten, five things and f five things I like and five things I don't like about the series. That would have been one of the things I didn't like. Because I remember complaining about it. Um, somewhere. That. 
they didn't add that back in. All right. The pink hoodie is not the right color now. That's the thing. I really want a hoodie to throw over this shirt, but like, I don't like any of the colors. Like the purple is the navy could work, but navy and black together just doesn't work so much. I like my pants. I like my my socks are fine. What's the bags? What do we look at bag wise? I have that one. Um, yeah, the bag's not good either. And gloves. I kind of like the white gloves. I think the white gloves look good. What color gloves do I have on? I have purple. I don't like the purple gloves anymore. I like the white gloves. The black. The black. I think yeah. The white gloves are the one I want to go with. Yeah. Grab the white gloves. Yeah, put them on. How about bags? I kind of want to change the bag color too, because I think the navy is just not working. Um, if it was white and pink, I would take it. I think the white, the pure white, the pure white definitely is the way to go. Yeah. Oh, I forgot the Eevees on the back. For this one, right? Right. That is a thing. Yeah. I like that setup. Um, no, I want to check the hats. I'm debating on switching hats. I, this is the knit hats. The black kind of works. I forget which one I have. I have the purple knit. I don't like the purple knit. What do I? What, do, what hat am I wearing right now? I'm wearing gray. Navy doesn't work. How's the white looking? The white just kind of. It kind of works. I like the black a lot better. I think. I'm gonna do the black. Yeah. Yep. I kind of just like made myself pink. Like, you want pink? Oh, Opal, you get in pink. There you go. Like I feel like, I feel like top up. It's literally it, top up is me, and then bottom down, I just like went crazy. It was great. It's great. It, I love it. It's, it's absolutely phenomenal. Rate my outfit one to ten. <laughs> Rate my outfit. All right, we gotta go back to Chirchester, the Chirchester, and uh, we'll get into this gym. So, thank you for watching the latest episode of the Pokemon Sword Surprise Lock. I hope you guys are enjoying the series as much as I am. Make sure you guys leave a like on this video, hit that subscribe button so you never miss more content from me in the future, as well as let me know in the comment section down below what you think of the questions I asked in the video. I asked questions of the day throughout the series, so feel free to let me know any of those answers or just let me know how you like the series in the comments down below. If you want to see more content and you want to see this live, go to twitch.tv slash chaos6, link in the description down below, as well as links to Twitter and Discord down there too, so that way you never miss anything coming out from me. That's all I have for you today, thank you guys for watching this series and enjoying my content. So until next time, my name is Chaos and I'm signing off, stay safe and as always, burn it up. <laughs>